Okay, here's my video of what's happening. Uh, you can see this is the SNMP uh, mediation device that we've set up. It's being here for our development. Here's the computer screen that shows what's happening. Right now, you can look at the configuration and it'll show that there's an FL58 user uh, and it's using the password for MD5, which is SSH, and DES. It's for the front link 58 is the password. And if you look down further, uh, when there it says RW user, it shows that uh, they have privileged access to that first string, which is the system defined variables. So now that we've got that, let me try and do a single hand here. And I'm going to show you here, this is giving us the status that only one uh, only one thing it shows up with SNMPD, and that was the search itself. And this is the running tasks. So now I'm going to start up the task running by using. Uh oh, it should be here soon. This command. It's start up as the daemon, S-U-D-O, and S-N-M-P-D is the daemon for the agent, and it says start without requiring to be in super user mode. So now that's started, we should look here, and we'll see that it's actually running on this computer. In order for us to access what's happening, I'm going to use my Macintosh, since Macintosh is uh, a Linux type machine. Excuse me for going through all of my dogdom here. So here we have that I'm going to now query uh, the, the Linux command. So let me go up one. And here's the command I'm actually sending. An SNMP get from this computer dash v3 means that it's running version 3 to FL58 user, and you'll see the next thing there says that it's both authorized and privileged, meaning that it has full security and it's encrypted, MD5. There's the password running DES encryption, the IP address of the other machine, the SMD, followed by the uh, string of OIDs, object IDs, which will get me back an answer. So let me just send this over to that address. And here we got back the answer already. So this is showing that it's coming back from here, from the remote SNMP MIB2. There's the string. It's running Linux desktop to respond to here. From Ubuntu, which is that other computer, to SNMP, and there's the answer right there. So this is now working in IPv4. Sorry, IPv6 is not available here in the office. I'm going to go ahead and take this home and uh, work on it there to make sure I get the, the uh, IPv6. And then I'm going to modify it so that it can get a specific uh, eBlink variable.